Good morning, dear friends. What a joy it is for us to meet again and be together for just a few minutes as we listen to the voice of God as it comes from his own word. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will uh, inspire you and, and, and strengthen your faith and uh, give you the grace to trust you for all your needs. Today's message is centered around a passage in the book of Genesis, chapter 15. This is the story of Abraham. Verses 1 to 4. And let me read this passage for you so that you will know what I am going to talk. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield and your very great reward. But Abraham said, O oh, sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless and the one who will inherit my estate is, is Elias of Damascus? And Abraham said, You have given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, this man will not be your heir, but a son coming from your own body will be your heir. And he took him outside and said, Look up at the heavens and count the stars. If indeed you can count them, then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Here is a disappointment that uh, Abraham expressed to God the Father. There are three things I want to mention from this passage. The number one is the pain of Abraham. And number two, the promise that followed his pain. And number three, the provision. God's answer. Verses two and three we see how Abraham was pained in his heart. And the reason was he had no children. No child was given to him. And um, there are different kinds of pain. There are, first of all, there's a pain of missing favor of God. That was the case with Abraham. No children, and that means no descendants, and that means no family tree will be kept. And then that means there is no future for this family of Abraham. And that is a sad pain indeed, missing favor of God. And then secondly, there's a pain of loneliness. Pain of loneliness. That is another problem. Be honest with God. Tell him what you feel. And God knows it all anyway. And one good news is all your life is ordered by God, our Lord. And if you just remember this truth, then you would not hesitate to tell him anything that you feel in your heart. Tell him what you feel. And that is very, very important. And thirdly, the pain of separation. In chapter 13, we found a separation. Abraham had to separate himself from his nephew, Lot. Because nephew was brought along by Abraham, the uncle. Now, Lot did not hear the voice of God, but it was Abraham whom God called to leave his city and his home and his people, the familiar places and people 
and start walking. It was Abraham. And as Abraham started, a few people joined him. Abraham's own father, along with his nephew, Lot. And as they traveled, both of them started growing in, in, in wealth and uh, in prosperity. And so there came a time when it was necessary for Abraham to separate himself from his, his nephew Lot because their servants were fighting and quarreling over the, the, the pasture land. Because both of them grew wealthy as far as their sheep is concerned and cattle. And there the, the land was too small for them. And so Abraham gave Lot the option. If you take to the light, right, I will take to the left. If you take the left, I will take to the right. So Lot chose first, and then Abraham chose the other. And that separation was not an easy one. So here we have in chapter 13, the pain of that separation. Because of their wealth. And you know, it happens very often even today. Increase of wealth sometimes can cause Difficulties between people, relatives, brothers and sisters. And which is not a good thing to happen, but it happens. And uh, it can end in great pain. You know, to be separated from uh, your loved ones. All on account of increased wealth. So be watchful, my friends. That wealth would not rob you of the joy of a family relationship. And remember, family relationship is, can be the richest relationship. And so we have these pains, and Abraham had gone through these pains. And then we have the promise. As we open our pain to God, and listen to this, I want you to take note of this. As you open your pain to God, they become God's promises. And that's what we read in verses 4 and 5 of chapter 5 of 15. Then the word of the Lord came to him, this man will not be your heir. But a son that will be born from your own body will inherit all that you have. That is why I say, as you open your heart to God and your complaints to him, they will become God's promises. Now, Gideon, when God appeared to Gideon after many, many years. The first thing the angel of the Lord told him was, you mighty man of God, the Lord is with you. And in response to that, Gideon immediately asked, if God is with us, why we are like this? Slaves to the Midianites. And uh, we, are, we are troubled. Why all this trouble? That you read in Judges chapter 6, verses 13 to 16. Open your pain to God. And then, you will immediately receive a promise. And as we open our hearts to God who understands all, and he who orders our steps and our entire life will understand our pain, what we feel within us. And he then comes to our comfort with a promise. 
And thirdly, we have the provision. As we believe his promise, it will become a provision for you. And in chapter 21, we have the birth of Isaac. And what a joy, what a great blessing God the Father has sent on Abraham's way. When Isaac was born, in his very old age, he was 100 years old and his wife Sarah was 90 years old. Both of them as good as dead as well as reproduction was concerned. But as they open, Abraham opened his heart to God and laid before God his pain and his sorrow and his concern. He first of all received the promise. And that promise as Abraham accepted and believed, the provision came soon after. So in 15, we have Abraham opening up his heart and open his pain to, brought his pain to God. And in chapter 21, we have the birth of Isaac. What a faithful God our God is. Never hesitate to open to you, open to him, your heart and your heart's pain and your heart's concern. Isaac was born. And when Isaac was born, Abraham realized that the provision is so abundant and, and overwhelming. When God fulfilled his promises, my friends, you won't be able to contain it. God is ever so faithful. Don't doubt him, but trust him and open your pain and your sorrows to him and his, your discouragement and disappointments. Then God's promise will follow and the promise will be followed by the provision. May the Lord's blessing be upon you as you trust God and keep looking at him. He has saved you. He has blessed you. He has been with you in all in your difficult times. And he will always be there for you. Enjoy his goodness and his mercies in the days to come. God bless you as you trust God. Amen. This is a great day. Enjoy your day by the grace of God. Amen.